Hi, Facebook buddies. Mary Mary here. I have glazed the tax wolf and he's ready to go in the kiln. So he's stoneware paper clay. He has not been bisque or anything like that. He's cone 10 stoneware paper clay and I fire him only up to six, sometimes cone seven drops. It will vitrify there. My, my vases hold water, but I do not do dinnerware. So, except for plates and nobody eats off my plates. They hang them on the wall. So um, anyway, what did I do next? Okay, so I had to, if you saw the last video, I had some underlaced color that I used as I built. So I let it dry to about bone dry, not quite a little on the, little on the green side. So, uh, but, so it was good and strong. So all the water that I was gonna be putting on it and it getting soaking wet would not cause it to collapse. If you try to, to do this while it's soaking wet and, or off my armature, and this is off my armature, uh, yeah, it'll collapse on you because you're re-wetting it and paper clay re-wets really fast. So what did I do? Two coats. Well, first, I took electric blue and I watered it down a whole bunch and put it in a spritz bottle. I put a little GB in it. Electric blue fires really dark at cone uh, six. So instead of putting black in the interstices or brown, I put a deep, deep blue. And I think that's far more interesting than black. Black kills. I try not to use it except in special situations. So, so that got all over it and uh, her too. And then I, I, I wiped off all the high places, but I don't wipe off. I'll show how to do it. If you take a workshop, I'll show you how to get the, the stuff off the high places without wiping. But anyway, so now we got the interstices nice and dark with the... Uh, Amico electric blue, a little GB in it, but you don't have to put the GB in it either because you're going to put now two coats of white underglaze. I spray it nice and thin, water it down because I don't want to fill in the interstices. So next, two coats of mixing clear celadon. That's a cone six. And do I have it here? I had it. There I put it. Oh, here it is. Mixing clear. Cone six, all right, and two coats. It's zinc free, so you don't have to worry about color and whatnot. You can mix color into it, you mix stain into it. Um, I also use the ice blue. That's, I like that one too, because it's somewhat transparent. So I'm looking for something that's somewhat transparent and uh, is glossy, because I like to um, play off gla gloss matte, gloss matte. So you say, well, all that, Celadon, how are you getting it matte? So I got all that celadon on there, and then I go into it, usually with a paintbrush, sometimes spritzing, um, with underglaze. And what will happen is the underglaze, as it goes into the wet celadon, mats it up. So it'll go from satin to very matte in those places that you add it. So it's a pretty neat effect. So you can control. So if you look at my giraffe in my albums, you'll see his head is really shiny. Uh, and he's got a medium blue spritzed on his head with a little GB on it too. That helped. But, um, and then you'll see places that are very satiny and that's still the only glaze was the solid on. So then, what did I do? I got two coats of white underglaze, two coats of solid on. Under all of that, the electric blue. <sighs> Foam! Hello? I'm old, they want to take my money and spend it in some foreign country. Okay. <laughs> okay, where were we? Okay, two coats on white underglaze, two coats celadon. Go into it with some underglazes, not everywhere, but you know, just places. And I, I used some turquoise blue, I used a little baby blue, I used a little mint green, or I really like the mint green. And uh, I used some pink. Let me see it, red, and uh, they're uh, intense yellow. Of course, I gotta have a smiley face yellow in there. And then, while that was wet, I went with some copper carbonate. So this is copper carbonate. You can see it's light, light green. Uh, copper carbonate uh, with a lot of water, a little GB. And I spritzed that, and I wanted to get it 
up high so it would sort of run down. Not everywhere, just some places. So along the ridge of the fur here, you can see it back here, I, I sprayed a little too. I could spray some right now. So I could spray some right there, but I really shouldn't without a mask on. But you get the idea. And it'll run down. And it makes glaze move and do nice things. And it leaves, where you spray it immediately, it leaves a, a sort of a, a beautiful deep green. So it, that, that will run into blues. Now, now that we're on this side, uh, this side, I want it different from this. So here he's more happy. He's got the pink and whatnot. And over here, we've got, and let me see if I can spray it so you can see. Um, I use some darker color. So here, I already had the cellar done, and I took a low fire glaze. Yep, a, a low fire glaze, an 06, 0506, and it's a Amical Magic Flow, and it's black. And I spritzed it and painted it into the interstices and then got it off the high points afterwards. I also did half of this head dark. And then I came back in to that with um, some mint cream and some turquoise underglaze. Um, that will run like crazy, so you don't want to use it a lot because it's a it's an 06 and you're far into 06. But it, I love that about that. The other glaze, low fire glaze I used was opalescent. It's an 012. I use this a lot because it, it makes whatever glaze it goes over move. So I use it not just by itself, but over things, you know, in between things, layer it. And you're not talking about much because this is going to run like crazy because it's 06, but it's going to look really nice. And what else? I used another magic flow. I decided that my pink should run on his face as if it were makeup and running off. So I used Amico's magic flow. It says, uh, and it's 05. It says 50, 05, and uh, it will run a lot. So go easy on it. I also used it in the Bluebird of Happiness. The Bluebird of Happiness has all the same effects. And then at the last, I put some Magic Float Pink in there and on parts of the fingers so it will run there. And I did it on her a little bit, around her toes and her knees and her elbows and in her eyes. So it'll probably run down. The pink will run down from her eyes a bit. On her cape, same thing, same process. Ended up with red underglaze into the celadons. And then I came over it with a low far, uh, sort of whiny color. So it'll be dark in there. And I also used a Magic Flow Blue on the edges of the dress. So we'll get a little flow around in there, just a little bit. I, I went pretty lightly. And then what else? You see, decals. Decals went right into, on top of... Uh, this is the celadons and then baby blue underglaze and then the decal went on right over that, spritzed it really good to get it to attach well. You have to rub it to make it attach. Sometimes you gotta poke holes in it. And you say, what? Decal at cone six? We're, you're fine to cone six, girl. They won't be there when you... They will. The blue will be there because blue stays, at least on old decals. And on this one, this is a vintage, these are vintage decals. I bought them from a little old lady and in a nursing home. She was so sweet and she sold me all she had because once I saw them, I bought the first set. I'm like, just send me everything you have and tell me how much to pay for it. Because it's, it's a medieval hunting scene and it's very violent. They're, things are being killed by hunting dogs and stuff. Anyway, um, so this one, the black will stay, the yellow will flare out. So, which is a nice effect, right? So, so it'll be back in the glaze. That's another thing about decals. If you use them like this in, in your cone six fire, they will stay, blue and black will stay. Red will go, yellow will go. It depends on the color, right? But um, like if you have a decal that has a black outline, the black outlines will be left like over here, right? And uh, did I spray that to show you how dark it was? I'll show you. So this, this has that multi-flow black on it too and some other dark colors. So you see it, once you get this, you see how layered it is in color. And uh, some of it will flow because I don't want just a brush stroke, I want it to, to move. So the underglaze will slow it down 
and the low fire will speed it up in between the two. It does neat things. Okay, is that it?